Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to get the Mac OS X Leopard Portal onto your PSP. But first I'm going to show you some of the features on here. So if you've never seen this on YouTube before, um, you can get an idea of what it is and then decide if you want to download it. So let me just enter my name and my password, which will get me logged in to the portal. When you first download the software, it will ask you to create a username and a password. Make sure you don't mess those up though, if you make a mistake or anything. Because it is very hard to uh, uh, get back to that page because um, I've tried re-downloading the software and um, I've tried re-downloading it and deleting the software off here and doing it again. It didn't seem to work. I found a process that eventually worked. It took like a couple days to get it to work. So make sure when you first download this software you do not mess that up. So I'm going to log in. Um, here's the background. Um, but if you've been seeing other YouTube videos on this, they have a different background. But this is the same software. The background would be like purple, skyish kind of color. Um, some of the icons you may recognize from the Mac. Um, it even has boot camp on it, um, it, which is where you can run Windows Vista on a Mac. Um, I'll show you one of the icons. This is the iTunes icon. Looks exactly like iTunes, basically. Uh, you can't buy songs off of it, but you can download songs off of it. And I don't know exactly how to get the songs on here yet. Um, if anybody could tell me how to do that, that'd be great. Um, I'll let you know if I ever find out how to do it. I'll post another YouTube video show you how to do it. And then I'm also going to show you Boot Camp right now. Now this is a version .66 portal, so not everything on here is going to work. Eventually there's going to be a version 9 portal that will come out. And then that's going to be pretty close to being either 100% finished or 90% finished or pretty close to being finished. So just keep checking for updates for this, which will be available on the site, which I will tell you about later once I show you how to download it. Uh, this is the boot camp screen. We are just on Macintosh HD right now, so now we want to go to Windows. Click on that. It looks like the Microsoft Corporation right there. Loads. See, it looks exactly like the Windows Vista uh, login page. I'm not going to show you that today, though, because it's only version 1 and there's not much you can do on there. So eventually, uh, the portal creator will eventually put more updates up to this, so there will be more icons to work on and stuff to do on it. But pretty much right now, it's kind of boring. So, all right. So now I'm going to teach you how to get this, uh, these portal, these uh, combined portals under your PSP. First, you want to have a memory stick. Or you want to plug your uh, PSB USB cable like this. I'm just going to use the memory card right now. Uh, some of you may have a memory card slot for your PSB card. Some of you may not. My computer does, so I'm going to use that for today. Otherwise, just plug your USB into the USB spot computer. And then go to USB mode on your PSB. All right. so first thing you want to do is download the file. In the description, I have the Dolphin Project's uh, address website. You want to click on Mac OS X Leopard version 0.66. Download it. Um, so there it is. There's a preview. That's what the calendar looks like. Looks a lot better on the PSP than it does on the website. Um, what you want to click on is this right here. Download it, extract it, uh, save it somewhere that you'll know where to find it again in case you need it somewhere comfortable. I normally save it to the desktop. As you can see, it's right there. So after you have extracted it, this is what it'll look like. It won't look like that yet. You won't even be able to open it until you extract it. Okay. 
So you got four things in here. Mac OS X Leopard, Change Logs, Features, README. You want to drag this folder, the Mac OS X Leopard folder, into the common folder on your PSP, which I'm not going to do since I already have it. Um, do not drag the whole entire folder right here to your PSP. That's why some of you have been getting the message. Um, this content cannot be displayed. So make sure you don't do that. And once you got it, New common folder on your PSP. It should look like this. Right. PSP common. As you can see, it's right there. Windows Vista. I've also got some other applications. We should make another YouTube video on how to do at some point. You can take your memory card out or disconnect your USB cable. Place it back into your PSP. Type in the address in your internet browser on your PSP. File slash PSP slash common slash Mac space. Which, if you don't know how to make a space, you press the triangle button. Space OS space X leopard slash index dot HTML. Make sure you add the spaces. That's why some of you have all, that's another reason why some people get the content cannot be displayed error. Um, another error, another reason that error may come up is you might have some files on your PSP that your computer doesn't like, I mean that your PSP doesn't like. I had, uh, I was getting custom firmware on my PSP, and when I had done this, there was a file on here still from that, and I tried deleting that file, and when I did that, um, this program started to work, so... That may be another reason you're getting the content cannot be displayed error. Um, but if you want to keep that folder and you don't want to delete it, what you should do is drag that folder off your PSP onto your desktop and keep it there in case you ever need it again. And then drag it back on once you need it. Okay. So after you've gotten this on here, you should be good to go. Um, If you want to get the Windows Vista on here, you can either look at the directions on how to get Boot Camp to work. Pretty self-explanatory. Basically what we just did, dragging the folder, extracting it, putting it into the PSV Common folder. Um, so yeah, you should be good to go. If you still get the content cannot be displayed error, a couple things that you can do. Make sure your flash is turned on, animation, JavaScript, all that crap, and delete your cookies, your history, and all that stuff. Um, make sure you have your settings to allow all cookies. My catch settings are 2048KB. Try that and enable um, WMA playback. You'll need an internet connection for that. But for this software right here, you don't need an internet connection unless you're going to go on the Safari browser. And if you go on the Safari browser, you need an internet connection. The reason you don't need an internet connection for this is because the file is stored on your memory stick and then it's just taking it off the common folder off your PSP onto here. So leave some comments if you need help. I am only one person though, so if I might not be, get back to you, I might be able to. So, hope you can get this on here. Thank you.